This is tutorial for B, question 5A. In this question, we are asked to find the response to an input which is a complex exponential given the system transfer function hs equals to this s plus 6 divided by s squared plus 5 6, 5 s plus 6. The input is this complex exponential e minus or I should say E S T where S is equals to minus 0 0.4 plus J 4 you can then think of it as E minus 0 0.4 T multiplied by E J 4 T so we have a decaying function and we have a complex exponential rotating you can express it in also this form where ej4t expressed as cosine 4t plus j sine 4t and hence you can then plot the real part and the imaginary part of xt. The dotted line here that you see is e minus 0 0.4t. In this expression, it is a everlasting complex exponential going from minus infinity to infinity positive infinity and in this case the theory tell us that the output to a complex exponential everlasting complex exponential is the complex exponential which is this value here multiplied by the transfer function evaluated at s naught, where in s naught in this case is the s naught in the expression over here which is minus 0 0.4 plus j4 in another chapter of the lecture we will show we have shown that h s naught it's called the frequency response of the system and the frequency response of the system evaluated at s naught can be used to multiply by the argon function e s naught to produce the output so this is this colored box here stating this fact we'll just use this theory and therefore our problem now is to evaluate what is h s naught this is s naught S0 came from exactly this expression here, E S0 T. So S0 is equal to minus 0 0.4 plus J4. We substitute this value into the various S's. So, so you'll see that I've highlighted the various S's. And when we finish evaluating, out comes a complex number. In rectangular form, and then we convert it into the polar form or the complex exponential form showing the magnitude and the phase. This magnitude and the phase is exactly HS0 over here and we can use that to multiply by the original signal ES0T. So let's substitute. This is HS0 and this is the input signal x of t now because they are complex exponential we can start to move this expression around so the a comes to here let's call this the a the gain at s naught here is the phase shift the phase shift is moved into the complex exponential term here e minus 0 0.4 is here which is this expression and now we have the final answer yt is equal to 0 0.3348 e minus 0 0.4t times the complex exponential with omega equals to 4 and the phase shift equals to minus 1.5645 which was gotten by this here of course you can then express this 
as the real part and the imaginary part and then you can plot the real part and the imaginary part over here the blue and the green are the real and imaginary part of yt you can now compare this against this and you will see that originally the input is about 1 at time 0 and now at time 0 it is 0 so there's a phase shift and it has become smaller look at the blue one because the gain is 0 0.3348 means that it has multiplied by the original signal and he have scaled it down to 0 0.3348 additionally he has introduced a phase shift of minus 1.564 thank you